Hey, what's going on everyone? Carlos Gill here. On this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to level up your content game on YouTube. Now, before I get started, I wanna let you know that this video is in partnership with Fiverr. When Fiverr reached out to me to see if I'd be down to do a collaboration with them, I was really excited because let's face it, as an entrepreneur, author, and public speaker, graphic design doesn't come natural to me. I am not a graphic designer. However, I also recognize in the whole realm of YouTube, it is highly important to have good looking creative because people react to what they see. So if you notice the trends on Twitter, typically the videos that have the highest views have a couple key factors that work really well for them. First of all, they have optimized titles, descriptions, and keywords because YouTube, which is owned by Google, is a search engine. However, the videos that also rank high in search and what you want is for your videos to be on that first page of search results they also have good looking aesthetics tied to them. Now, the reason why as a creator and entrepreneur, I'm so high on YouTube is because unlike Facebook or Instagram, YouTube actually cuts me a check. Yes, I actually get incentivized by YouTube to create content on their platform, which is why you see so many creators doubling and tripling down on YouTube. Now, before I get started with showing you how Fiverr works, I first wanna give you some insight into my channel so you can see where I'm coming from. Okay, so what you're looking at right now is my YouTube channel. As you can see, I have my videos categorized into different playlists. They're broken down by social media tips and tricks, Snapchat tips, business documentaries, and social media keynote presentations. Now, remember I said before, I am a keynote speaker, and a big part of my business revolves around getting paid to speak on stages at marketing conferences. So what happens when someone that's looking to book a social media keynote speaker goes on Google, which owns YouTube? They type in social media keynote or social media keynote speaker. Now, as you can see on my screen here, I typed in social media keynote, and this is what appears on the first page of search results. You see a couple of Gary Vee videos, and then you see my videos, one after another. As you can see here, the aesthetics are what pops. And I'm gonna share with you in a moment the exact methodology behind using Fiverr and the seller that I specifically work for that did these thumbnails for me. But I just want you to see here, it's Carlos Skill video, one after another. You've got a couple of other creatives that are mixed in there, a couple other speakers, you got Gary Vee once again, but it's pretty safe to say that I own this page on YouTube. And a key to YouTube is also owning a keyword or a key phrase. Now I'm also gonna switch back over to just social media. So social media keynote aside, as you can see here, this is a search on all of YouTube for the phrase social media. And as you can see right here in front of you on the very first page of search results, you see two videos of Mark Zuckerberg and then you see one of my social media keynotes right underneath it. Now, in full disclosure, before I worked with Fiverr, I had a different thumbnail than what you see here on this page. This specific video of the future of social media keynote did not even rank on the first page of search results. As you can see, after working with Fiverr and having a new thumbnail added, this video now is the third video that appears when you type in social media on YouTube. Now, for the last demonstration, one of the videos I'm most proud of is five social media marketing tips to dominate in 2019. When you type in social media tips on YouTube, my video is the number one video that appears. This is what's known as an anchor video. This video helps drive subscribers to my channel every single day. It's a video that earns me a good amount of rev share also in Google ads on the back end. And it's not just this one video that appears, but as I scroll through social media tips, you also see not only other social media thought leaders, but you start seeing a couple of my other videos as well, which is pretty cool. So I want you to see here as you look at search results, what other creators have for their aesthetics. And at the same time, I want you to start thinking what is that category that you want to own? What's that, that keyword? What's that key phrase? Again, like for myself, it's social media tips and it's social media keynote. Now, let me show you the guide to get the most out of the Fiverr experience. What you're looking at now is the inside of my 
Fiverr store with my favorite sellers. What this is is a curated list of some of the top designers and creatives across the Fiverr network. Now, before I go right into it, I want to point a couple of things out. Based on your business needs, whether it's podcasting, YouTube, graphic design, SEO, social media copywriting, blog copywriting, you name it, Fiverr provides you with resources that are going to help you optimize and scale and grow your business. As you can see here on my seller store, I have a curated list of logo designers, website designers, YouTube thumbnail and banner designers, which I'm gonna share with you here in a moment, video SEO, which is highly important for YouTube, and then also social media management, because let's face it, when you are in the trenches running your business, you don't always have time to curate and write tweets or Instagram posts. So once again, with Fiverr, you can find social media managers and community managers even that can help take some of that heavy lifting off of your plate so you can do what you're really good at, which is running a business. Now, let me help you get started. To make it really easy for you, through my Fiverr seller store, I've already identified who some of the top creators are that specifically do YouTube thumbnails and banners. However, if you go off of my store and search the Fiverr marketplace, in this case, you type in YouTube thumbnails, you're gonna find over 1,800 designers on Fiverr that are able to do YouTube thumbnails for you. However, what I want you to do is weed out the all-stars from the up-and-comers. And the way that you do that is by, on the left-hand side of the search results, you go to seller level, and you check top rated seller as well as level two. By going with the all-star cast of sellers, you're able to ensure that you are working directly with creatives or sellers that have experience. You're also able to see what other gigs they offer and read their reviews. So in this case, the seller that I ended up going with, he has different packages. The package that I selected was 25 YouTube thumbnails for $40, which is really affordable. And as you can see here on his profile page, you can read reviews, you can see the work that he's done for other clients, and you can also see what other gigs he offers through his own store. So outside of YouTube thumbnail design, he does Facebook banner design, he does uh, ad display ad design as well. Now, taking you through the experience of the back end of once you place orders, as you can see here, I've placed more orders with this same seller. So I have three pending orders with him, two that have already been completed. And as you can see here, once you place the order, it creates an entire history. The order's been submitted. The seller submits proofs of the content. You can let that seller know if you approve the content or if there are revisions needed. And once that's completed, uh, within a very fast turnaround time, like in this case, I got my thumbnails back within 24 hours, which is super fast. I was able to plug those in right away on my YouTube channel. So going back over to my YouTube channel, you see here the social media tips and tricks playlist. As you can see here, my five social media marketing tips to dominate in 2019 video. As I scroll over, you see some more of the thumbnails that this Fiverr seller specifically did for me. Facebook marketing hacks, how to use Twitter for business. Instagram tips and tricks. And as you can see, by working with the same seller, you start to develop this cohesive theme for your channel. So if you kind of see right now on my screen, you see different themes, different looks. That's because I've worked with different designers. Along the way, I've tried to kind of piecemeal meal this and do some designs myself. But once you get in that groove and work with the same designer, then and only then, your channel will start to develop a consistent look and feel, which is what you want for long-term growth and success. Bonus! When you go to my Fiverr seller store, and I'm gonna drop that link here on the screen once again, it's also in the description of this video. You're gonna see a category for YouTube thumbnail design. Below that is another category for video SEO. If you want your videos to appear in search results, just like mine do, you need to have quality content, quality aesthetics, but you also need to have the right keywords, descriptions, and titles within your videos. You can have the best looking content, the best looking thumbnails, but if your video is not optimized properly, no one's gonna see it. And if no one sees it, it doesn't exist. 
Go to endofmarketingbook.com if you want to future-proof your business and humanize your brand. Let's get it.